Hi, I'm Officer Joey Belanger with the Morganton Department of Public Safety. As a school dare and community officer, I often get questions about what traffic should and shouldn't do legally around school buses. Today, we're going to try and answer some of those questions that we often receive. By far, the most common traffic violation we see around buses are stop arm violations. According to North Carolina law, when a school bus is stopped and the stop arm is extended with lights flashing, all traffic in both directions are required to come to a complete stop and remain stopped until the stop arm is placed back in and the red lights are turned off. The only exception to the rule requiring traffic to stop when the stop arm is extended would be on a roadway that contains more than three lanes of traffic. In this instance, oncoming traffic would not be required to stop. However, traffic in the same direction of the bus would still be required to stop and remain stopped until the red lights are turned off and the stop arm is pulled in. Remember, children are unpredictable. Whenever you're driving around a school bus, slow down, take your time, and watch for the unexpected. Most school bus violations are misdemeanors and can be fined up to $500. Officers take these violations seriously, and officers like me will be watching for school bus and school zone violations. Hopefully, we've been able to answer some of the questions you have about school bus safety. Just remember, if we all follow the rules of the road, we can all help keep our children safe, and that is our number one priority. Remember, safety is everyone's responsibility.